Welcome back. Today we're looking at bolt action shotguns. As you know, in some jurisdictions, shotguns are mandated for deer hunting. I always like them just because I like bolt actions. So this is uh, what I've got in my hands here is, is a Mauser that's been converted in Germany to 16 gauge. And I took all three of these to the range, not at the same time. Um, but over the past couple of years and I had some interesting results now as usual I don't have a range video but I was surprised at how accurate these firearms are you probably all know that this shotgun is is called a Gea I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly Gea maybe anyway it's a Mauser as I said and what they've done is they've um, opened up the action so this is worth looking at. So as you know, normally these locking lugs lock the action. But in this case, uh, the receiver ring had to be opened, uh, opened up so much that there is no receiver left for the lugs. So the bolt simply moves forward and those lugs turn in air because they're, they're, it's a 16 gauge. So there's no, no place for uh, for these lugs to engage and you can see they've uh, made a very clever and interesting extraction system and bolt face which is uh, separate from uh, the bolt but it's still this works great now a lot of people say this is totally weak don't fire these things and they're not going to work and so forth uh, but I don't know I don't know whether Germany makes guns like that um, Anyway, so I took it to the range, and uh, where does it lock? It locks here and on the bolt handle. So this would be the safety lug normally. So when you, when you close up, now I, I don't know how anything is gonna, is gonna open this action, and the pressures in shotgun shells are so low, it's, um, it's doubtful that, that a shell can, can force this open, but maybe it's happened, I don't know. Somebody else told me this is too thin, so I compared this with my other shotguns, <clears throat> pump actions and semi-autos, and I couldn't see any difference. Maybe I'm missing something, but it seemed to me that the steel in shotgun barrels and chambers is not very thick. So I think that validates that the pressures are low. Anyway, I didn't have any malfunctions. Everything worked fine. You can see the shells feeding from the top and uh, that was easy um, there were there were no misfires no hang fires no nothing and then as I started to say the best news was although it's smooth bore at 50 meters for this one um, I was hitting like cocans no problem now have a look at this there's no rear sight it's just a groove in the receiver and there's actually no front sight either it's just a bead so I thought, well, I won't hit anything, but I used rifled slugs and I, I put the bead in this groove and I had no trouble hitting coke cans. Now at a hundred meters, things opened up a bit, but even then the groups were maybe three inches, which is completely acceptable accuracy. And as you know, with rifled slugs, the problem isn't so much an accuracy issue, it's a good idea to have sights, but it's a trajectory issue because they, they, they drop so quickly. So I can't remember what I paid for this, but not much. They are around. Maybe there's something that you know about that I don't know about that makes them unsafe. Uh, I couldn't find anything to indicate that. So that's a, a really old example of a bolt action shotgun. And, and now I'll skip uh, to modern uh, bolt action shotguns and this thing looks cool I put an aim point which I had kicking around on it this is one of those discontinued model aim points that's, that, that magnifies two power so when I bought this shotgun I can tell you that um, I bought it used and this bolt and bolt handle were were falling off and the owner had tried to um, remedy the situation and couldn't figure it out or whatever anyway he he wanted to buy actually the shotgun that I'll show you right after this so I bought this off him and I've had no troubles I had to kind of take the bolt apart reassemble it and then uh, there you'll see an allen kind of 
screw at the back of the bolt. So I actually looked at different ways of making sure that screw didn't back out again. And so I just epoxied it in place. You can probably see a little residue there. And I fired this lots of times, no issues whatsoever. Um, this is the model 210. I guess there's a newer version now that Savage offers. And I, have, I don't own that one because I read that this one maybe is better than the newer one. And um, it loads in like the um, Mauser from the top. It, it, you know, it, I, it probably for cost saving reasons, the magazine is integral with the stock, which works, but it's a little bit, um, well, to me, it's a little bit odd. But, you know, one has to be open-minded, so uh, it holds the, the rounds, I forget, two or three. And same story as with the, with the uh, Mauser 16 gauge. I had no jams, I had no issues. I, I had groups at 100 meters with this. Now it's a rifled bore, although I'm not sure about the rifling and gauging those foster slugs that I use. Maybe they would have more of an impact on sabotage slugs and, and uh, those Brennecke slugs that you can get. But all I have was fosters around for all three of these uh, guns and uh, no issues. You could easily drop it here with, with this uh, shotgun or any one of them. The next one is the main reason for the video and that is the A-Bolt by Browning and this is the, the Cadillac of bolt action shotguns. Uh, and easily the best bolt action shotgun that I know of. There might be some custom guns that that I that I don't own, but as far as a readily available bolt action, this is as good as it gets. And I mean, this thing's incredible. The bolt, it's it's all perfection. Um, you always have the feeling that you're handling something of quality. This magazine system you may recognize from the bar and other Brownings so you, you could carry a spare magazine these just clip out and although I never do that I never take them out I just I just leave this and then feed it in through the top but if you wanted to you could carry an extra magazine um, the bolt you'll of course the issue with shotguns is how do you get the the big bolt face so they solve it in much the same way as the as the German Mauser and the Savage and uh, it works perfectly flawless feeding everything ideal this one has the nice sights which which are great uh, they show up in low light conditions i ended up putting a uh, some kind of one to five scope on this thing and uh, as as expected it works perfectly bolt release same as the a bolt as you'd expect the trigger is great the stock is fine they make a wood version as well and i actually couldn't think of of a better shotgun than the for deer hunting than um, than the A-Bolt and um, probably worth answering a question or two that people ask me why not use a pump action shotgun for deer or a semi-auto of course my answer is well this is totally fine too um, but somehow it just seems kind of nice to use a bolt action because we're so used to using bolt actions for uh, for big game hunting and um, you could probably make an accuracy argument which would be valid but um, that's a very simple video I just wanted to show you these bolt action shotguns just because they're so useful um, I actually often find myself heading into the woods and I think well should I take this rifle or that rifle and, and then I end up grabbing the a bolt and I bring along some bird shot and if I run into a grouse or you know what have you prepared for that and then I don't feel in any way disadvantaged having this uh, disabled uh, so probably that's all I have to say about it very excellent and almost universal uh, weapon thanks for watching take care